You already know how to jumpstart a car because I'm sure you've watched our video walking you through those steps. But that's for a regular car. But what happens when your electric vehicle won't turn on even when you know there's plenty of juice in the main battery pack? That means your 12 volt system has run down. How could this happen? Well, there are a number of ways. You could have left the car sitting for an extended period of time. There could be a fault in the car's charging circuit, but none of that matters right now. What we're gonna do is teach you how to get moving again by jumpstarting your electric vehicle. So basically, this is very similar to the way in which we would jumpstart a traditional automobile. Now, step one means that we park a vehicle with a healthy battery next to the EV that's not playing nice. Step two, it's a smart idea to toss on the parking brake so neither vehicle rolls into the other. Step three, take a look around and make sure anything that could drain your batteries, like your headlights or interior lights, is switched off. It's time to grab those jumper cables for step four. First, connect the red or positive cable to the discharge battery's positive terminal. Take the positive or red cable on the other end of the jumper cable and attach it to the positive terminal on the healthy vehicle. Step five, take the negative or black cable and attach it to the negative terminal on the healthy battery. Slide over to the dead battery and attach the negative cable to an open bit of metal that will serve as a ground point. This can be an exposed bolt or actual metal on the car. Step six, take a moment to double check that all the connections are good and the cables won't slip off. Also, make sure the actual jumper cables are free of any moving parts like fans or belts when you're using a gas-powered vehicle to jump start. Step seven, time to fire up the healthy vehicle. Step eight, now try and start the EV. There we go. Keep the cars connected and keep both of them running for a bit to get some juice from the healthy batteries into the batteries of the previously dead vehicle. Step nine involves removing the cables, but in the reverse order in which you put them on there. So take off the negative from the EV, then the negative off the healthy car, then do the positive from the healthy car, and finally the positive from the EV. Once you've done all this and said thank you to whoever just helped you out, keep your EV running for at least 20 minutes. This helps build up the charge in your 12 volt battery system. It's a good idea to take your car into a service shop or your local dealer so the 12 volt system can be examined for any defects. It could be as simple as you needing a new battery. Some final notes. Do not mess with the high voltage battery system in your car. If you have a drained big battery, you cannot jumpstart your EV by hooking it up through jumper cables to another vehicle. Additionally, if your vehicle is connected to a charging station, unplug it from the charging station before you charge your 12 volt system. And that's it. That's all you really need to know to jumpstart an EV. So be prepared, keep jumper cables in your car, and then get off and silently motoring.